Hey guys, um, this is gonna be my first video in a line of reviews for gear and other stuff. But today I'm gonna get started off with the true two-piece goalie skate, all custom. So what I wanna get into this is, first off, this skate is made entirely to your foot. So, and it, it literally molds your foot. What you gotta do is, You'll go to your hockey shop or wherever you get your gear at and you'll ask them to get the true fit scanned or true skates in general. And what they'll do is they'll get an iPad of sorts and they'll put your foot on a wet piece of plastic or I, I don't know what it is, but then they will scan your foot and make a 3D rendering of it and the hot spots of your foot. Then they will send that like 3D image to True, so they can make your skates. Then, True, what True does is they 3D print a mold of your foot, and they start building the actual skate around it. So, when your skate comes out, it will fit your foot really snug, and it will feel like it's part of your foot on the ice. And I've been skating with these Trues for about a season and a half, maybe. Yeah, a season and a half, and they're the best skates I've ever had. Um, the options you can average uh, when customizing them are, there's a lot, there are a lot, but um, one of the big ones is you can get a two-piece, as you can see here, which means you have this piece separate from the skate right here. So your blade holder is attached by screws right there. and you can take the blade off. So that's what the two pieces. A one piece skate for True is when the blade holder is actually attached to the skate itself. So it is not attached by bolts here. It's part of the skate. And the blade is also part of the skate. Um, that does not mean you can't remove it. You can remove it. It's just harder, I guess. So let's get into this. So, as you can see, there's a lot of parts to this skate, but when you're customizing it, uh, one of the big things you can do is you can choose what color you get for the stripe here. And they have a bunch of colors, but I chose silver just because that's me. And you can also get a different colored toe cap, although I only think they do white. Um, let's see, you can also get customization on the tongue of the skate, which I got a number on, but you can also get different tongues. So I chose the ultra light one, which is just a shorter, lighter tongue, but the normal one kind of rises a little bit above and it's pretty much the same thing. Although now onto the actual skate itself, you can see it has shrews the main thing you can identify them with is this, um, like the silver wing, I guess. And on the outside of the skate, what else they have is, um, yes, you can also attach and detach um, the tongues. I don't know if you can really see it, but this black part here is a Velcro flap that you can lift up and then you can take this tongue out. Another thing you can um, do is you can ask them to actually I'm pretty sure you can ask them for what material you want on the inside of the skate, which I did not do because that doesn't really bother me. But if you can see it inside here, let me just skip that. Um, there, that true in the bottom. Um, that's your insole, which in my opinion is really well because um, that insole and the material around it is really moisture wickening and it's really well on the, it works really great on the ice. Um, I'd say it works well for me because when I get off the ice, I don't like that my feet are just wet with sweat. And I know that's kind of a weird thing to say, but it's just kind of a pet peeve. But another thing too is because of that moisture wickening, the odor of the skate isn't too bad. So after about a year and a half with these, they still smell like they're brand new. And they're really durable apart from that. Um, like goalies now, especially for me, 
an RVH. That blade's always banging in there. Or toe cap's always hidden the post and it holds up really well. And one of the big things that I want to point out is it is handmade in Canada. So all this is done by hand and it holds up just as much or better than other skates. And the one thing I would say that would be kind of a letdown is they are bigger than your average skate. Even if you have a big foot, they'll be a little bit bigger than if you get out and buy a stock state, stock skate from Bauer or CCM. So what True does to this is although it'll be bigger, you will have a lot of room actually to grow into this skate. Mostly so you're, if your foot gets wider around on the cap or if it gets longer. And even though they leave a decent amount of room in this skate, it still feels really snug and comfortable on the ice. Um, one warning to though, to, to those people who will buy these skates is I would say don't get them if your foot hasn't stopped growing yet because these are kind of, these are pretty pricey. For skates, they are. Um, but if you do, one more warning to go along with that is the blades are really prone to rusting where the blade meets the skate holder. So you'll get little dots of rust along there and they don't really affect the blade itself, but it's just really annoying to see that this blade starts rusting, what, not even a month out of the box if you're skating constantly on the ice. And also scratches on the blade are pretty noticeable on the edges here. But uh, one way I found to prevent that is when you take your skate out to dry, make sure you take your skate guards off. So your skate dries without the skate guards. And one thing that I found that helped is turn your skate guards inside out so your skate guards dry. Because one reason they'll rust if you leave your skate guards on your skate is the moisture that's absorbed by the skate guard, which is what it's meant to do, is there, right? And you know, when water is constantly put on steel, it rusts. So that's what I would say is just take these off and dry them. Um, other than that, I would just say that these are by far the best skates I've had so far. And that might be just because I have weird feet. So like you can see, these have practically no arch on them. So that's for me. But if you're a Bauer CCM guy, I, I would try them definitely because my opinion, they work really well. But guess that's the reveal. I mean, there's not much to say about a product that does its job well. I will say that because these will last you a while and they're built to last. They're built for comfort. So they are built for performance. And I would say they really hold up to that. Um, let's see, what else can I say? I just want to make sure you guys get a full review because some people, um, or unlike other skates, you can't really try on a true skate. Um, oh yeah, one thing I would say too, that is kind of a, I don't know if it's like a problem for this skate or not, but it's kind of annoying. But when you get them, before you break them in, remember how I said there was a Velcro, Velcro flap there, sorry. Um, it sometimes can get tied up with your laces and it'll get kind of caught on them. But that's, that's just, I, you can fix that easily. And with the laces too, one thing I would say that kind of annoyed me, when you get them out of the box, wear them around your house for like 10 to 15 minutes just so you can wear in these eyelets and the lace, these eyelets and the edges of the boot because this here is hard plastic, and as you can see, they put eyelets into there. So there's a hard, these laces here are practically white because you can't really tighten these, but you can these. And one thing that makes that a little bit harder too is these are, le this is leather. So new leather is really stiff. So when, when you get them and you're at your house, just put your skate guards on, and if you have carpet or an area, 
or let's say you're even playing video games, you could just wear them for um, 10 to 15 minutes, as I said, just to break this leather in, which will make it a lot easier to tie later. And if you don't have that problem, that's, that's, that's great, but um, that's something I saw that kind of bothered me too. And that's pretty much it. Well, thanks for listening guys, and I really hope you enjoyed, and I hope this video helped you, but I'll see you guys next time.